In this video we're going to look at how you can remove a trailing slash from a URL. Now this is something that you may not need to do all that often if at all but it's something that can be quite useful. Often websites will just follow one convention where they either have a trailing slash at the end of the URL or they don't and the URLs that don't will often redirect the URLs that do and if you have a website where that might be the other way around all depending on the server configuration of your website. Now it may be the case that you're, you've got a list of URLs in a spreadsheet and you're writing information for them and you want the URL to be the final destination URL that doesn't redirect and it can be helpful to have consistency when it comes to the trailing slash across all of your URLs. Um, it's also a good way to ensure there aren't duplicates where you've effectively got the trailing slash version of a URL and the non-trailing slash version of a URL. So we've got two URLs here. One of them has a trailing slash and the other one doesn't have a trailing slash at the end. And we're just going to write a function that will remove the trailing slash where it's there and it will keep the URL exactly as it is when the trailing slash is not there. So to do this, we type out equals left, which returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string. And then we select cell A1. And then now we use the len function, which actually is a function that, as it says here, returns the number of characters in a text string. And then what we need to do is click on cell A1 again. And then what we need to do is minus everything to the right so we do the right function and then we select cell a1 again close that off and then the number of characters we're just going to put equals open quotation marks a forward slash open quote close quotation marks and then two brackets to close off this formula now what this function here this formula is doing is it's basically taking everything before this trailing slash. So if we hit enter, what we'll notice is, is the URL is exactly the same, except we don't have the trailing slash there. Now, if we drag this down here, we don't you know, lose the five of this URL. It's still the exact same URL. And we now have both of our URLs that are consistently formatted without that trailing slash at the end. So. Again, it's perhaps not a function that you're going to be using all that often, but it's, it is a great formula to have in your toolkit in case you ever do need to remove trailing slashes from URLs. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.